Hey guys, Jenny here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm super excited because today I'm going to be recreating a picture or actually look. I'm going to be recreating a makeup look that I recently posted on my Instagram. The look was using the brand new Alamar Cosmetic eyeshadow palette. This is the Reina del Caribe palette and this stuff, ugh, amazing. I'm obsessed. Like, it's been a little while since I've had a palette that I love so much. I mean, hello. It just, it yells summer. It yells Miami, which, you know, your girl is from. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. And I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to totally do my makeup in my makeup shirt. Normally, I do my makeup in a big t-shirt and then I get dressed. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's jump right into the tutorial. I went ahead and I did my eyebrows and I primed my eyes off of camera just because I feel like I do that step exactly the same every time I do my makeup. So just to make it a little bit quicker, I figured I would do that off of camera. To start off the look, I'm going to go ahead and use the Coco Taxi color and I'm going to place that on my crease. So I am picking up a little bit at a time and just going over my crease. This is just helping me warm up that area and I am going like all the way in and I'm taking the color all the way out. Remember when doing your eye makeup, it is okay to go outside past your brows because we're gonna go back and we're gonna fix that up. Okay, so now I'm gonna be moving on to our next color. I'm gonna be going in with Tropico. I'm not going to take it up as far as I did that yellowish tone that we first did. I'm going to concentrate that a little bit more closer to my crease. I don't want to bring it all the way up. I am going to blend it upward, but I am going to be a little bit more precise as to where I'm placing the color. On the outer corners, I usually like to pack the color and then sort of blend it inward. Remember when you're doing your eye makeup to tilt your head back, I've told you guys this in my last video, to open up the space on your eyes so you really get in there and you see exactly what you're doing. I'm going to start adding a little bit more, but while I'm adding more, I'm blending upward. So it's going to give it like that smoky look. Now I'm gonna go back to that first color that we used, the Coco Taxi. And I'm just gonna pick up just the lightest bit and I'm going to blend out this edge right here. Just to give it more of like that gradient effect. Now we're gonna go into this really pretty color, Guantanamera. Guantanamera. Why no one And we're going to apply it pretty much in the exact same place that we applied the other burnt orange color where it's on the outer corner and on the crease. So I'm gonna go back in with the Coco Taxi to blend out the edges. It's time to cut the crease. For the cut crease, I'm gonna be going in with the Becca Aqua Luminous Concealer. So I like really, really take my time when I do a cut crease. I am not like the cut crease queen. I love the way it looks. It's just really time consuming for me because I don't do it often. It usually takes me a really long time. I don't know if this is right or not, but I usually just like to go back in with my finger and blend it out. I just feel like it helps me blend it and then I don't leave an excessive amount of concealer on my eyes. Moving on to our crease color, I'm gonna be using this beautiful blue called Varadero. And I'm going to spritz my brush.
Now the only color I wish was on the palette, which unfortunately isn't, is a black color. But that's okay because we have a bazillion other palettes that have a black. So I am going to be using the Master Palette. This is old school. And I'm going to be using the black color. Because I want to make sure I stay very on the outer corner. God, I just made a bigger mess. <laughs> Thank God we're gonna be wiping that off. So what I'm gonna do now is with a very light hand, I'm going to go over the top part of the crease to darken it up with the black. This is why I always say that makeup is a process that must be trusted because we're looking crazy as hell right now. This is like too distracting. I am gonna try a different black. I'm gonna try this black right here. And this palette is the Pure Boxy Charm palette. All right, that's a little better. Now I'm gonna tight line my eyes using the Jante Bleu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't kill me. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that on the inner corner of my eyes. This is gonna help our lash line look really full. God, what a huge difference. <laughs> So now we're gonna move on to eyelashes. For today, I'm gonna be using these Battenton lashes. I just got them in my BoxyCharm. They're so, so, so pretty. I'm actually gonna put them on off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I am back with my eyelashes on and I'm sorry I don't put my eyelashes on camera. I'm still sort of like figuring out how to do that. To be very honest, I literally bring a mirror up to my face this close, so. Maybe in the next one I'll give it a try because eventually I'm going to have to get over it and just do it on camera. So I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Fatescu Facial Spray. This is going to help our makeup last and it just feels so good. Moving on, we're going to prime the skin. I'm going to be using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I usually concentrate my primers in the center part of my face because that's where I tend to get really oily. Now I'm back and I'm just pressing the product onto my skin in this area because I do have larger pores there. For today's skin, I'm gonna do a little bit of a combo because I did get some sun recently, so my body is a little bit darker than my face and it is a tiny bit darker than the foundation that I was using. So I'm gonna mix my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm going to add a couple of pumps of the Collab Radiant Foundation. This one is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix the two. So not for like everyday makeup do you have to do this, but whenever you're gonna go out and you just want your makeup to look a little bit more um, fun, and you know you're gonna be taking pictures, don't be afraid to bring the foundation down your neck. Don't be afraid to get it on your ears, behind, just because all those little things really help, especially when it comes to photography. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using the Becca Luminous Concealer. Okay, so whenever I do my eye makeup first and then my face and I have eyeshadow which has a little bit of a sharpness to the edge, I personally don't like to bring the concealer too close to that. So I'll leave it right there so that with my beauty blender, I'll be able to blend it upward. Do you see how the eyeshadow ends there and then I only brought the concealer up to there? Now with my beauty blender, I blend that upward.
So now I want to brighten up under my eyes a little bit more. So I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. I want to brighten up under my eyes to make the eye color pop a little bit more. There we go. Just a little bit, like a lot. So now to set that, I'm going to be using the Collab Ultra Fine Loose Powder. And I'm going to use my little baby beauty blender. Always remember to blend out any creasing. Now that my under eyes are set, I simply grab a little bit of the powder and I bake. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the, the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder. Yeah. <laughs> For a second I was like, what is this called again? And what I like to do is I get a little powder puff and I just pick up some of the powder and then I really press that onto my skin. For this look, I sort of want to mimic what I did on the top part. I want to mimic that on my bottom lash line. Well, the first color I'm going to use is the first one I used on the eyes, which was the Coco Taxi. Okay, so using that same brush, I'm going to go into the Tropico. When I'm using a smaller, more precise brush, I'm going to go into the Guantanamera color. Using the same eyeliner that we did the tight line with, I'm going to do the bottom lash line. Okay, so now we're going to bronze up the face. To do that, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And with a fluffy brush, I always... I always like to start on my forehead. And remember to bring it up really close to your hairline. That's gonna help it look really, really natural. Okay, so now that our forehead starts to look a little bit more bronzy, a little bit more natural. I'm going to do the same thing on the sides. All right, so now to do a little bit more of a contour, I'm gonna be using the Sephora. This is the Matte Perfecting Powdered Foundation. And I'm gonna use a brush that's a little less fluffy, or a lot less, and it's a little denser. Then repeating the steps that we did for the bronzing, I'm going to start on my forehead and really concentrating on the outer perimeters of the face and then sort of blending inward. So for my highlighter, I'm going to be using the Face and Eye Highlighting Palette from Collab. This one is in Fairy Nude Warm Glow. And I think I'm going to go ahead and mix these two colors right here. Oof. Damn! I forgot how good this palette was. I mean... For blush, I'm going to be using an oldie but goodie, the NARS 
orgasm. I went such a long time without using this that when I used it again, I was like, why did I ever stop? It's honestly just such an amazing blush. Okay, so now let's wipe off the excess powder from underneath our eyes. So I don't always contour my nose, but I'm feeling like I want to today. I don't know why. To contour my nose, I'm gonna be using the Hoola Benefit Powder. So I'm gonna clean up my contour a little bit just by adding some powder, just to make that look a little sharper. And while that is setting, I'm going to add a little bit of mascara to my lashes. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Tardiest Mascara. This stuff is bomb. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing. I'm not one to necessarily always rave about mascaras, Whenever I use mascara, they're usually drugstore. And whenever I find a mascara, I tend to stick to it because it's not necessarily like my favorite part of makeup. I'd rather just spend my money on so many other things. What am I missing? Oh, of course. We need to add a little highlight to the inner corner of our eyes. I'm going to be using the color La Costa. And I'm just going to plop that. Hmm. I love that. That just, wow, look how good that looks. I feel like it just opens up the eyes and it just makes such a big difference. So now I'm just going to dust off all this powder and now we're just going to quickly do our lips and then we're done. For lips, I'm going to be using the MAC Spice Lip Liner. Lipstick, I'm going to be using this ColourPop Strip Liquid Lipstick. And to top that off, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. I just love a good glossy lip. I love that. Okay, so I am going to, as usual, go get presentable, do my hair, do something about take this t-shirt off because I'm looking crazy. I will be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. I let my hair down, do some earrings on. You know how that is. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also, please don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see next any request i am open for suggestions so thank you guys so much again and i will see you in my next one bye <laughs>